Yee, what's up, my friends? Two tips on how not to smoke weed today. If you're a weed smoker and it's working for you, you're probably not going to like this video, so this is not for you. But if you're sick and tired of the beat down of going back to weed over and over and over again and suffering that same lead back into just anxiety and just slow death, this is for you if you don't want to smoke weed today. The first thing is, is be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. One of the things I thought, uh, the, one of the things that stopped me from smoking weed for decades was the belief that it was okay for me to get high every once in a while. Now, I'm sure some people can do that. More power to you. God bless you. But for me, I absolutely could not. I would take a little break, get a little eighth, think I was going to smoke a little here and a little there, and it was all going to be good. And it never worked that way for me. It became the main focus of my day every single time I had it for years and years and years and years and hundreds of times thinking that I was going to be uh, just taking a tolerance break. I've heard it called that a tolerance break. Well, I can't, it never worked for me. I needed to be honest with myself about that. Finally, that no, I absolutely do not want to smoke weed ever. Um, so that's tip number one. Tip number two is, um, what is tip number two? Oh yeah, hey, make friends with people who don't smoke weed and hang out with them. You know, I had, I grew up, everyone I knew smoked weed. I mean, everyone, everyone I grew up with smoked weed before they had pubic hair. So weed was like breathing, you know, and why I had some problems with drinking and drugging, uh, some heavy drugs and drinking. My friends were like, yeah, you don't need to drink. The barn doors need to be taken off when you drink and get on runs. You slow, show up here at four in the morning, banging on the door, telling me how much you love me. You, yeah, you shouldn't, but you can smoke weed. And for years, I believed that, like, yeah, that's okay. And no, it wasn't okay. It wasn't okay. I mean, the bottom line is, is, is you are a threat to people who love their weed because they don't want to be honest about it. If it's working for them, great, but they don't want to hang around people that, that don't feel the same way about it. They just don't. So don't hang out with them, man. There's so many good people who don't smoke weed. And I'm not trying to be derogatory against people who smoke weed. That's everyone I freaking knew for like 40 years of my life. So please, I love you. You know, don't take this wrong if you're still watching and you smoke weed. But there's tons of people with tons of good positive stuff going on. People who are growing, people who are spiritually growing and living uh, and being very useful. And not that people aren't smoking weed or not. Don't worry. But I'm just saying in general, there's a world of people that uh, that live differently than than the world of of the 420 community. So hang out with other people. Because you know what? There's a saying in, in, in recovery is if you go to a, a, a barbershop, you're going to get a haircut. So if you go hang out with people who smoke weed, you're going to probably smoke weed again. And for me, it would sometimes be five more years of just, just the same day and the same week and the same month and the same year. I mean... I mean, I had the same couches for 10 years that were free couches to begin with. Uh, you know, I, I, I never bought new clothes for like 15 years. It was the same thing. So um, anyway, that's what I got. Peace. Hope you got something out of that. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace. Much love.